Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch, and on this rather grey late July day, we're doing a quick walk around video on this very, very lovely uh, Pilot P700 Sensation. So, this uh, van is a Pilot, they're from France, they're one of France's biggest and oldest manufacturers. Uh, build good quality uh, European coach belts, very well insulated, decent storage, well set up for year round use. Uh, and this one's done only 11,000 miles. So, having a look at the wind sheet, it's a Pilot P700 Sensation. 2015 on a 15 cab, it's the uh, first of the new shaped cab 15, which is great. Uh, it's got the island bed, four seat belts. It is actually two berths. We've just had a look inside, and the uh, the front doesn't convert into a into a bed. Actually, it hasn't got a dropping table, so it is uh, just a two berth, not a three or four berth. Three and a half tons. You can drive it on your normal car license, based on the Fiat Cato Motome chassis, 2.3 turbo diesel, only 11,000 miles from new. 6.99 metres, so it's at the smaller end of things for an island bed van. 2.35 wide, which is standard width. 2.76 tall, so it's low profile, and it's priced at 47.95, which at these crazy times that we live in, it represents decent value. So, this one, lovely, lovely condition. Uh, having a walk around the outside, you've got all the white colour coding. Uh, has it got the LED headlights? Uh, no, it doesn't have the LED headlights, LED daytime running lights anyway. Uh, so you've got lucky windows and mirrors, uh, manual fold, panoramic skylight up there. 15 inch wheels with the wheel trim, stick some alloys on there if you wanted to. We've got main hookup, single leisure battery and a solar panel on the roof which has been added which is great. Trimmers, ubiquitous gas and electric combi boiler heating and hot water which you'll see in probably more motorhomes than any other type of heating system uh, clear flush fit double glazed windows which is good at uh, the back there's a you call it a garage it's not a full height garage because the island bed isn't uh, height adjustable but it's certainly a garage space uh, i think you might struggle to get bikes in there though unless you pop the front wheel off anyway but um, that is open to debate uh, coming around the back we've got reversing sensors and a reversing camera up high and the reversing camera feeds into uh, quite a nice Pioneer double din uh, stereo system. Smart LED lights at the back, so this is your storage space. Loads of space for anything apart from bikes I would say. And I don't think you'd, you'd, get, you'd get a bike in diagonally possibly, but if you pop the front wheel off you, you, you definitely could do anyway I would say. A couple of added storage containers there, they can be removed if you want. And we've got handy uh, Fiamma sliding tie down points as well there. Uh, there's also an alarm sensor on the garage door so that's a sign that this van will have a, uh, a thatch from Category 1 alarm and a mobiliser on it. Inboard fresh water tank fill up point there. We've got the awning down here as well. And say on the roof there's a solar panel and a TV aerial. So it's got got the camera, the sensors, the solar panel, the TV aerial, the awning, the alarm system, and the nicer stereo. So it's got everything you need really. Bedroom window back there, set for cassette toilet locker there. Lucky step. Having a look inside the cab. It's not been clean since it came in this one. We're so busy, but we're just doing the the sold ones or the ones that really need it and this sort of was somewhere in between. Um, cab lines, air conditioning, cruise control uh, and then your, your Pioneer system there. It's not sat nav that so if you did want to swap it out for a double DIN unit with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Play, that could be done easy enough, it's quite popular. Uh, you've got this nice two-tone faux leather seat in, which will be uh, both very smart and very practical as well. Uh, lucky windows, lucky mirrors, uh, heated mirrors as well. So inside it's uh, very European fair, so we've got the European style L-shaped lounge with twin swivel cab seats and a side seat. Fly screen door across there and a, uh, a window in the door as well. Blown air heating ducts, plenty of light switches, nice lighting in this one. Height adjustable TV bracket up there, which I kind of like, so you can drop it down, raise it up uh, as you see fit. Nice little panoramic roof light above with a bit of storage to the sides. I really like the light high gloss two tone cabinet work as well, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, two seat belts there. I say tables on a fixed leg because it doesn't drop. Normally these sort of layouts will have a, a dropping table and you can fudge it into a single bed. You could probably adapt that or change it if you really needed to, but uh, really it's better for, better for two anyway. 
Uh, kitchen's not bad. You put in a little tiny oven grill thing for the British market. I think that is an oven and a grill. Yeah, it's only little. Um, on the hob front, you've got a deep sink, two burning hob. Loads of plug sockets, absolutely everywhere. Chargers everywhere. You've got a hob top extractor over there as well. And you've got Thetford's slimline, really, really big fridge freezer, which is good. That's got an extra pull-out fridge section at the bottom of your drinks. That's massive. That's an auto energy selecting one, so it'll run off uh, electric if you're hooked up. It'll switch to gas automatically if you're not hooked up. And it'll run off the engine automatically when you're driving. TV aerial up there. More plug sockets and your TV aerial booster point. And then the real reason you buy this fan, of course, the bedroom. So you've got a very large and really, really nice, not too high, island bed with a nice memory foam mattress on it. Again, nice wooden surround for the skylights, big picture windows both sides. Previous owners have left a cello 12 volt TV in. We don't check or guarantee uh, aftermarket electrical items when they're left in a van. We'll leave it in there. If it works, it works. Big shower, big separate shower cubicle one side there, that's really nice with a um, hanging rail for drip drying clothing and a skylight above. Hers and hers wardrobes either side of the bed. Very good size, the two of them the same and two more high level cupboards across from there. And then your um, toilet room. So this door will come across and shut off front from back which is nice. And then you've got your um, Dometic, Dometic cassette toilet I think that is it is because it's got the ceramic toilet bowl very exciting basin nice big mirror hello and plenty of storage in not one but two cupboards conditions fine needs are clean not smelly not doggy will clean up absolutely mustard previous owners were lovely people in fairness to it and it's a really really lovely van so this is the uh, Fiat Pilot P700 Sensation 2015 it's at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon branch we are just off the A38 South Devon Expressway at that address there you can ring us on the landline number which is on there but we do have some problems with our phone system so if you're struggling with that you can ring the mobile number 07432 662 or our contact us through the website or if you see this on YouTube feel free to put a comment on okay thank you very much